What's the worst tattoo you've seen? There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, the worst are when you see. I don't know if this is real. This one I saw. This is this is one I saw recently when uh, the Argentina won the World Cup. Um, it was uh, someone got Messi tattooed on their forehead, like M I S S I M E S S I. Excuse me, um, right across the forehead. I wasn't sure if that was real, uh, but those kind of things happen, and it's crazy, man, how people will do stuff like that. It almost brings me back to the whole like cassette on the forehead thing. I'm like, right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little painful. bit of flashbacks, you know? Have you done some t- some cover ups where you're like, oh man, you? I can't believe you walked out around in public with this on your body. Yeah, no, I've seen a couple where I'm like questionable, like, dang. Okay, you know it is what it is. People go through things or whatever, uh, but usually they look they'll look better. I'll give them that. Like, hey man, I don't know exactly, especially when they are so limited. Like, hey, I don't want to go too big and whatnot, uh, which makes it a little more difficult. Um, and some 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 cover ups are just like there's not really much I can do about certain things. Like uh, like some people get like when they get tattooed, they get scarred. So their skin will raise at certain spots, like it'll look like lines. It'll look like the tattoo is. Does that does that mean that their skin just didn't respond well, or did the tattoo artist not do the right thing, or did they use usually, cheap ink, or what? Usually, it has to do with the application. Usually, it's just um, overworked skin and whatnot. And um, oh, interesting. You can cover up with a certain tattoo, and then you'll come back and look at it, and you'll still be able to see certain raised parts of the body. Oh, parts yeah. of the skin um, but you know you kind of have to be transparent with your clients and say hey man there's only so much I can do for it if you're up for it let's do it you know right right because there's only so much like polish you could you could polish up a turd so <laughs> that's what my friend Herms <laughs> like to say you know there's only right. so much polishing you could do yeah so. yeah and eventually it's still a turd yeah uh, uh, we try not to make it that though so yeah do you guys um I, I mean I know you guys don't do it but have you seen any tattoo laser removal that works well and like actually yeah looks no, like uh, normal skin or is it just look all like botched no for sure um if you if you get lasered enough um it'll re- return to your skin considering like, that's if you didn't get any like scarring and stuff because it's scarring uh, i think so I, yeah. I have a couple tattoos on me that are like oh, i want to get it covered up instead of laser just because i'd rather just go through the pain of getting a tattoo yeah than having to go over multiple sessions of the laser you know, over the same spot that i'm eventually going to tattoo anyways so right. it's like <laughs> so i feel like because you've been tattooed you're a tattoo artist you do jujitsu you get choked out for fun i feel like you probably have a pretty good gauge of like pain threshold Somebody's just getting a tattoo on their back or their shoulder, or yeah. their chest or something. Different kind Sca- of pain, though. Scale of one to ten, <laughs> like what's the what's the pain level? Um, it depends on where it's at. Like my arms are pretty easy, but uh, I remember getting my chest tattooed uh, more towards the center, right here on the sternum. I was I was almost squirming there, man. I was uh, having yeah. to like it's brutal. Yeah, I had to like take a deep breath for a second. And be like, hey, man, hold on, give me give me a second to stretch out real quick because you know I'm bony. I'm like skinny right here, and um, I'm actually getting this done on the 25th. Finished up. What um, is it? It's a, it's like a headdress, kind of like a, like a, like a Aztec kind of style headdress nice. to where um, it like comes from one shoulder to the other, um, and we just need to finish up the center part uh, for the same reason that uh, that it hurts so much. Yeah, but it's yeah. funny because when we were actually working on that, it was the day that the whole world shut down on uh, for the pandemic. It was the day that the oh shit they were announcing like hey like you know uh, the United States has decided to go through with this whole pandemic and shut down. And at the time, I was like, hey dude, like can we stop this session? And I kind of have to go. Cl- to the store and clean my house for some reason I was yeah, like, yeah. I, you know stack up on ramen you know, I don't yeah, know what's yeah. gonna happen so um but yeah we're finally getting to finish this piece nice, after all man. that but yeah i would say that's the probably the worst spot i've been tattooed um and i've been t- i got my legs tattooed my shin my shin sucked um yeah because that's right on the bone huh yeah yeah anything bony where it's like like pretty sh- like pretty shitty to get hit in general it's gonna hurt you know yeah so this makes me think like bony opposite of bony is fat. What happens if you get a tattoo and you're super fat and then you lose weight? Or what happens if you're like really skinny and you get a tattoo and you get yeah, super yeah. fat? So uh, if you're skinny and you get fat, obviously the skin will stretch. I've seen to where things will move slightly. Like you'll get like a shoulder piece and all of a sudden they gain a lot of weight. And you'll kind of see like whether like depending on where how it stretches and whatnot. I've seen tattoos kind of shift slightly. Um, and then the same goes with like, you know, uh, people that have lost a lot of weight, a lot of the skin will be, uh, almost, uh, 
So the best way to tattoo is like when the skin is the skin is stretchy. Um, it's where it's more flabby. It's where it becomes an issue, and it also like flabby skin like that will swell up fast. So you'll go over it one time, and it just instantly starts to swell up, and it becomes a little more painful and harder uh, to tattoo. Just because essentially it's damaged skin, you know. Yeah. And so muscular guys sensitive. are easier to tattoo. Usually, yeah, but they're also more 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 sensitive. It's more of like like kind of like dad bods where people will sit a little bit better because a little bit of fatty tissue will help a lot. Yeah. Um, skinnier dudes like muscular dudes where it starts to hurt a little more because you have less of that fatty tissue yeah. kind of cushion. 